I consider myself a true New Yorker. Being fully integrated into the community and trying to make our community better places to live and work is part of my DNA. Going back to my grandfather in the 50s, he built the first planned industrial park uh, in New York City. Manufacturers and industrial companies couldn't afford to be in Manhattan, so they went out to the boroughs and he built the big industrial park in Brooklyn. I came into the business in the early 90s and saw an opportunity to take that model and make it a New York regional approach. So we come in and we reimagine a New York iconic building and then position it where it has all the amenities of a 21st century type building. We do everything in-house from leasing, property management, construction, marketing, development, and we have all those expertise that we bring to our investment and operation and sourcing. And the biggest challenge New York has is having enough supply of office housing for companies that want to grow and residential housing for people that want to live here. And so investing in New York now to create new opportunities where there's so much demand flowing through, and our expectation now is that that imbalance of supply and demand is going to result in a very healthy real estate market for decades to come. Our entire executive team brings in the investments, but then we give investments to our investment due diligence team, and that team is charged with undressing that investment so we can evaluate the underlying risk associated with that investment and make sure that we're going in eyes wide open on knowing how we're going to execute upon our business plan. We tap our relationships. We try to source deals that are not on the marketplace. And since this is the only markets that we focus in, we can spend a lot of time harvesting those relationships and pursuing these transactions.